Checking back in with the Black and Gold Network here with women's basketball and with senior Emily DeCora. Emily, let's kind of step back real quick here and look back a couple months ago um, before the season even started. You ended up with, in an injury situation. Yeah. So you ended up missing basketball. You know, how was the rehab for that and how did that affect, you know, knowing you're, that you're coming into your senior year? Mm -hmm. um, it was tough. Obviously, any injury that um, puts you out for a few games is kind of a struggle, but after dealing with my ACL two years ago, I mean, it was a breeze. It was way easier than that. So um, our training staff was obviously really good with me and we were really positive with um, the outcome and I got into surgery right away and the recovery was actually really quick, but it did, I mean, it was kind of a bummer. I have to set out that first month, but I think now it makes me appreciate everything. Kind of had a little, or the last few games, but now I'm enjoying it. I was going to say, then once you got uh, healthy enough to be back on the court, you got back on the court, it had to be an adjustment period for you. What was that like? Um, it was different because I've never had to transition like that. I've never had to be out and then try to transition into game-like mode, whereas when I got hurt two years ago, I had a whole summer to kind of prepare. But um, it was I think it went well. I mean, obviously, I started off slower coming into games and having to adjust a little more. But I think now I kind of feel back like my normal self I did before the injury. So I think it's going well. So back a few weeks ago, you guys had a great stretch where you won three of four and knocked off Green Bay. Then you kind of got a little inconsistent, uh, had a tough road trip. Mm -hmm. What was the difference between, you know, that really nice stretch and then just the road trip to Ohio? Um, you know, I thought we were playing really, really well together. Um, during that winning trip, obviously beating Green Bay was huge for a team win. And then to come to Cleveland and Ohio, or Cleveland and Youngstown and kind of struggle a little bit was rough. But um, I think after that trip, we really, um, you know, like thought about it and thought, okay, like we can beat Green Bay's, we can beat the top of the conference and compete with everyone. So um, after that, I think kind of now we um, have been moving forward and then obviously just working hard to get our wins. So back home for what is the uh, longest homestand of the season, you guys welcome UIC and Valparaiso this week. We were just talking about the Flames. They were 9-21 last year, and now they're 15-4. and four. Yeah. I mean, they've obviously really developed as a team. They have a new transfer that set out last year who's, I think, helping them a lot. And then their senior guard, Rachel Story, she's obviously very good. We all are familiar with her. Um, but they'll be tough, but I think we have a really good game plan to hopefully knock them off. And then same thing with Valpo. We have two days to prepare, and hopefully um, we can get that win too. Final question for you then. Almost at the end of the first run through the league's first half of the league season, you know, what have you guys learned? What have been the surprises? Um, obviously, there's ups and downs through everything, but um, we really just have to stay together and come together when we do have struggles. Um, I think that's the most important thing. And then obviously picking each other up when we do go through those struggles to kind of stay positive and know that we can move forward and still compete to be at the top of the conference by the end of the year. Sounds good. Well, thanks for your time, and then good luck the next couple Thank of games. You. Thank you.